Yeah, well, I think that's a, a, a wonderful question. I think there are a lot of challenges, um, you know, but I'll, I'll pick a few. You know, one, can we make new body parts? You know, can you make, uh, you know, this, this is an area called regenerative medicine or possibly tissue engineering, but can you make um, a new heart for people? Can you make uh, treat people who are paralyzed? Can you make a new pancreas, a new liver? Um, and, you know, you could go on and on. Can you even do that outside at the body? You know, could you make a, a heart on a chip, a uh, liver on a chip, so that you would could tremendously reduce uh, animal testing and, and tremendously reduce human testing? And it's not just making them, it's making ones that are, 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 are valid, uh, you know, that really mimic what happens in humans. Another big area, I think, is, is, is data analysis. You know, things like machine learning and artificial intelligence. Can we make predictions from vast amounts of data? And that data, data needs to actually be very good, clean, well-controlled data, you know, that can tell us how, you know, why certain uh, molecules may uh, treat cancer, for example, better. And can we figure out ways of coming up with, uh, with new, new molecules that might work even better still? I think clearly the area of, of genetic therapies, uh, you know, which we've certainly witnessed uh, by the COVID vaccine and the company that, as you mentioned, I helped start Moderna, certainly a good example. But it's, you know, but there's this whole area of genetic medicine, which could involve messenger RNA, could involve uh, gene therapy, could involve gene editing, um, and, and, and so forth. I think the area of drug delivery and nanotechnology is, is, is also going to be very important. I mean, first of all, you need that to solve the problems I just mentioned. You know, if you try to give messenger RNA by itself, it'll get destroyed. But if you put it in a nanoparticle, you can protect it and get it to work. Um, and there's so many delivery challenges. Can we deliver drugs to the brain? Can we deliver drugs uh, by swallowing pills? I mean, large molecules by swallowing pills. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, and sometimes the biggest challenges and the biggest uh, discoveries, we don't know yet because nobody's discovered them or even invented them. But there's no shortage of, of wonderful things that uh, will happen. By the way, in what Michael's area, digital medicine uh, is, is another one that I think could, could be very important.